So, there it is again. It actually boots quite fast, I think. And we're in like Flynn, to quote a famous Australian. Yeah, so uh, to say again, we did a lot of things today. Uh, we took it out of the box. Uh, I did an update while the camera was off. <laughs> the update uh, fixed uh, the, the top bar. Now the top bar is working, the multitasking is working, uh, I installed a new app, it's working, and uh, we miraculously fixed the screen resolution problem with the tiny icons by plugging the, uh, <laughs> the hub into it with an HDMI cable into it. That just seemed to have fixed it. Also, the big thing at the end, we got a Vufine Plus, um, I think it's called a in-picture display or picture-in-picture -picture display, something like this. I just call it the uh, cheap Google Glass style thingy uh, to work out of the box with the fi Pine Phone. It, sh uh, it shows a picture on there. Uh, all in all, uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy with the whole thing. So, welcome again. Today uh, we're gonna do a first on this channel. We're gonna unbox something. Uh, I got here the Pinephone uh, Plasma Community Edition or KDE Community Edition. And it's a Linux phone. It's privacy focused and that's what I like about because I'm kind of a privacy focused guy. And we're just gonna take a look at what's in the box. So we have well, our box here, Boop. Right. then we got the usual printy things, and there it is. Yeah, looks fine. Let's let's see what's also in the box. We got a looks like a charging cable. Also, uh, this is the three gigabyte uh, version. So there are two versions, one with two and one with three uh, gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> and yeah, here we got, uh, looks like a USB-C charging cable in red. Why red? I have no idea. Maybe it's a nice contrast to the black phone or it was, uh, the color that was just in stock in the moment. Then we got a SIM tray. Here, maybe, let's see, but I don't even think we will need that because I'm not even planning on putting a SIM card in this phone because I usually run my phones without SIM card and use uh, Wi-Fi only because who the hell needs mobile internet anyway. And here we have uh, another thing, that's the dock, a mm, uh, USB-C uh, hub. Uh, to two normal USBs, uh, HDMI and the Ethernet adapter. That's kind of nice, but it's quite standard. So we put this aside. We're gonna use this this later because I have a, how do you call them? Uh, let's just call them a fake Google Glass. It's the thing that you can clip on your glass and have a little display. Let me get it quick here. Ah, it's a little little dusty because I haven't used it in a while. Uh, it's uh, from Vufine, it's the Vufine Plus and it's kind of an older model and you just clip it onto your glasses and you have a little display but it's not wireless, you have to run it with a HDMI cable and I will uh, try connect this to the Pine phone later. Maybe in this video, maybe in the next video, we will see that. So putting all the fluff to the side and focusing our attention to the main part, the actual phone. Mm. Looks good. With the nice KDE logo there. I'm a huge fan of KDE. I use the desktop environment on all my Linux PCs because I only have Linux PCs because well, Microsoft kind of sucks and I haven't used a Microsoft system in like half a decade or something and I miss literally nothing. 
and now is my time to turn my back on Unread. I'm uh, using on my normal phone here, uh, I'm using Lineage, which is kind of a de-googled Android uh, version, but it still relies on a lot of closed source drivers. So I hope to fix that with this. Also, I kinda like on the Pine phone that it has hardware switches for uh, camera, uh, microphone and wireless modules. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kinda wanna <laughs> remove the, the, the foil. Uh. Oh, feels good, feels good. I haven't removed such a foil in a long time. Well, we have a tiny air bubble under this here, but it's not a problem, I mean. <laughs> Check out the, the state of my old phone. It's basically, basically only charts of glass and charts of uh, glass foil on top. <laughs> but it still works and so I'm I'm not a guy who cares for the optic of things, but I have to say it looks quite nice in my hand. It has a nice size. Uh, the logo, nice. Uh, well, it gets fingerprinty quite quick, as you see. We already got the, the touches all over it now. Um, and I'm not very prepared for this video anyways, but I guess I could try turn it on. Not quite sure. I think I have to. Uh, I have to uh, remove a safety pin on the battery or something, or a safety thingy on the battery first. So we just remove the back cover. Yeah, goes off quite nice. So in here we have multiple things. We have uh, the uh, six pogo pins where you can plug in extensions like a bigger uh, back cover with a, a external battery or a fingerprint sensor or a thermal camera. Uh, there are lots of good community driven add-ons in the making for this. Then we have here or a SIM card or micro SD slot and a battery. Uh, I think this battery is compatible with uh, old batteries out of a Samsung phone of some kind. So if you need a new one or a second one, just uh, get the specs, pop another battery in there and you're good. Here we can see here's the little tiny clip for the battery. Let me just take the battery out quick. Nah, doesn't want to come out. Nah, come on. And there it goes. Here. I can look at this side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It has a uh, rated capacity 2800, uh, typical capacity 3000, mm, let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm not expecting this phone to run very long because it's still the community edition and it's n the software isn't fully optimized for long term battery running. Let's remove the little clip here and pop the battery back in so now we should have should have power I'm not sure if the battery comes pre-charged uh, I have the cable here and I have a power bank so we can give it some power if it needs some uh, the most important bit about this phone is the little switches up here let me zoom in a little bit Here you can see uh, a few tiny dip switches. Maybe maybe we can even get closer with it. Let me see if, it, if it's focusing. Yeah, it's focusing. And you see you have one for the modem, one for the Wi-Fi on Bluetooth. We have one for the microphone, one for the rear camera, one for the front camera and one for the headphone jack. So we can turn the power to each of the, those things on and off manually. I think that's very nice. Because even if you put your normal phone into airplane mode, your, your uh, 
uh, modem will still have power and if your modem has power then it's not actually off and sometimes you you just want to have your modem off because uh, what's the point on generating needless metadata if you don't have to so we're gonna close this thing again uh, zoom a little bit out like this so and uh, not getting this closed quite right ah you have to press a little bit more on it now it's closed again okay so we have here a volume rocker and uh, i assume the power button usb-c port a microphone camera and i assume this is a ambient light sensor down here um we have a potato camera but I don't give a fuck if the camera quality is bad because I usually don't take photos with my phone anyway. Uh, we have a light. We have the little pine phone logo here. And we have we have a thing uh, from the past. Sadly. Uh, not sadly that it's there. I, I like that it's there. We have the, the headphone jack. That's uh, quite nice to see. So now uh, we're going to try to turn it on. We got a tiny red LED and it's off again and now we wait and see if something happens. Maybe the battery is not charged, I'm not sure. Oh, we got a, we got an actual uh, KDE lo load-in sign. <laughs> I just see in the, in the viewfinder of my camera here, uh, you can see my, my camera lamp looks like a halo around a KDE symbol. Uh, I hope it's not so annoying to see that on the on the screen because it's quite reflective. Maybe like this is better. Let me put something behind here so the angle stays in a way that you don't have the reflection of the light in the... Oh! There it is! We got a plasma style background i think and <laughs> now is the point where we have to enter a pin let me zoom a little bit more in so you can see everything quite nice like this and now we have the problem i'm not even sure what a pin is i think it's one two three four five six let's try that and yeah that that was actually the pin so that's that's quite nice and uh, we're in uh, i'm quite happy to see that this is pre-flashed uh, since i don't have a, f a ready flashed sd card for this and let's take a look we can yeah we have here our apps it's all a little bit tiny on the screen, but I think uh, we can change this in the settings. We have here a uh, boohoo. I have no idea what it is. We have a calculator. Uh, we have an uh, organizer. We have a clock, discover, index. I guess index is the... Let's, let's just open that. I, I, I didn't actually didn't expect uh, <laughs> anything to work right out of the box. I was expecting to have a journey with flashing the thing and trying stuff out and uh, debugging stuff and I, I actually wasn't expecting to work this <laughs> to work right off out of the box as you can see with the camera it isn't perfect let me maybe let me make this away so you can maybe maybe see the screen a little bit better and we zoom a little bit more in so yeah that's it we have here uh, of uh, our folders that's quite nice until now this phone feels very intuitive what happens if i slide down at the top nothing if i slide from the sides okay uh that's now the question how do we leave this app again <laughs> what happens if we tap on sue somewhere we can go to our desktop for example let's try nothing there yeah <laughs> it's clear because i didn't put anything on there i'm not sure if you can see this on the screen but it's very reactive, it switches the ordners right away. 
uh, the folders, not the ordners. And yeah, but now is the big question. How do we get back? How do we get back to the main menu? And sliding from the top doesn't do anything. Sliding from the sides also not. We have no stuff on the sides. Now let's just, okay, if we do this, we end up at the normal menu again. And it's very tiny in the upper corner, but we can see we're at a 35% battery, so I'm better plug in the battery. We don't wanna wanna this thing to go empty while we're testing it. And yeah, uh, <laughs> how do we get back out of this menu? I have no idea. That's kind of weird. It's not the rocker switches. We have no home button. Um, well, I uh, that's that's. I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is the newest software on this. Uh, I assume I have to update it. But for doing anything I have to <laughs> get out of, out of the file manager again. And again, no idea how to do that. Give me a second, I'm gonna look that up. So, uh, we are back. <laughs> um, I found a little bit of a problem and I had to search something and so on. And um, point is, I just updated it by doing a Pac-Man uh, S-Y-U, uh, I think is in English. Uh, this, the standard Arch and Manjaro update command. And then it took a while, it updated like a, a gigabyte or something, uh, it went black, uh, the screen wouldn't respond and after a while I was thinking, what, well, the update should be done now and uh, thanks God, um, <laughs> I restarted the phone and a few things more worked. So let me just, um, uh, you have to press it a little bit longer I think, yes. Um, I updated it and now it looks a little bit different. Also set the dark theme and uh, ignore this. I was just testing things. So um, maybe I should also turn down this. So yeah, sorry for not recording this on the screen right away. I tried to set a, come on. Now it should be bright enough that you can see it. Um, as you can see, everything is still kinda tiny but that's not such a problem and the top bar now works um, changing between apps works like I can just open uh, let me just uh, what can I open uh, let me open the, the folders takes a while when you open a program for the first time after doing something and now I have those buttons down here with those buttons I can go in the multitasking mode. You can see I still have the applications uh, <laughs> applications manager open. Um, and you can switch between them, you can return to the, to the home screen or you can close the program. Works, everything, fine now. But <laughs> the problem still is everything is still tiny. And I think that's kind of hilarious because uh, the touch gestures, swiping, everything works but the phone seems to think uh, that the resolution is some way higher than it is. It's like when you accidentally <laughs> tell your PC uh, the resolution is now 4K, 4K and everything is tiny. I guess that this will be easily fixable. Um, but for now I just was thinking let, let me try something more out and I tried to install a few things like we, uh, over the terminal I installed NeoFetch so we can do the classical neo fetch yeah ah not not quite right like this neo fetch and it gives us the usual 
Info, we running Manjaro, ARM, Linux, R, Arch64, uh, uh, Pine64, Pine PinePhone. So after having some technical problems because my SD card were full, uh, was full, uh, we are now back. And back to the thing. So we just unlock it again and I'm not quite sure where we left off. Um, but yeah, I showed you the, the multitasking is no problem. Uh, swipe gestures are quite fluid. I'm, I'm very well surprised I expected to get something that is very sluggish but most of the time this works well. The button uh, off is very quick. To make it on you have to press it a little bit longer, not just a, a, a small click, but a little click and hold, and then it goes nice. Still, my problem is uh, everything is quite tiny, um, <laughs> but that's not the bigger, biggest problem. Uh, I also tried installing a few things, works quite nice, and yeah, I'm actually quite happy with this. Uh, now something for you to love. Uh, uh, love? Uh, you know what I mean. You, I, I just show off the potato cam. <laughs> that, that's the thing. Um, I, I know this camera was bad. I knew it before I ordered this telephone. But to see it now in person, how bad the camera is, is... Astonishing. I mean, I'm not sure if you can see it in the video quite right, but it's 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 so bad. Not not even because it's slow and because, <laughs> but because it looks like a webcam from 2008 or something. It's yeah, you can be happy if you can scan a QR code with this I think for more it's not really useful but I expect nobody will buy this device for the camera so we can close that and installing apps is quite easy you can just open discover or you can install them from the from the terminal uh, but discover works also quite nice and quite quick I was uh, kind of surprised so we can now check out applications up here and yeah we have lots of stuff lots of stuff uh, I tried to install file light it's something to show you how many files are in your system and where they are and here we have for example open SCAD. I love that program it's for 3d modeling we have, you can you have a huge amount of things you can install here. So let us just try something quick. Not sure quite what's key pass. Key pass sounds like a good thing. Also, we can try a simple screen recorder, but I don't expect this to work quite now. Uh, let us try key pass. So we just hit the download button here. I can hit it. Yes, no. Uh, keep in mind um, <laughs> when you get this device, uh, the buttons will be quite bigger. Uh, I'm not quite sure why I have the problem with the tiny icons and everything. I'm gonna fix that. So now it's installing and it's installed. And now we can just look at where it is. It has to be here somewhere. There is file light key pass. There it is. And we can open it. And there it is. Our key pass database if we need it. Uh, I personally I personally uh, like key pass quite a lot. I use it quite a lot. It's a good uh, password manager. So that's, that's basically it. And yeah, uh, I also tried uh, the hub. Here we have the the USB hub. 
but I'm not very happy with it. I'm gonna plug a mouse into it, a wireless mouse. I'm not sure if my USB hub is just broken or it has some software problems or I need to activate it somehow. My guess is I have to activate some kind of module for it to work because right now when I plug this in all it does is it activates the charging. Oh, now it works. On-screen keyboard activated, deactivated. Okay, for a second it had something there. Maybe it's the position? I'm, I'm not quite sure. But I have to say the, the, the connector from the, from the hub, uh, it doesn't fit well. It, it, it wiggles a lot. Uh, the, the normal USB-C uh, charging cable fits nice, but this one, it's horrible. So you can see it's it's loose and it's it's just I'm not even doing much I'm I'm just ticking on it and it and it is out of there that's that's not a good connector cable or hub or something I'm not very pleased with this I'm not sure why it is like this maybe maybe it's fixable by removing some of the material up here so it goes a little bit far in but right now that's basically not oh on screen keyboard deactivated that means unactivated we have a a loose contact here uh, i mean maybe the mouse would work activated deactivated no i i can't get it to work because the hub is just very oh now the mouse works when i keep the hub pressing in with my finger, yeah, you can see now we have a mouse. That's that's quite nice, but um, otherwise, this hub thing. Uh, let us just see. Yeah, we, we can navigate by mouse, and it's loose again. That's that's a no go. They have to change something about the hub, or maybe get a third party hub from from somewhere else because this hub is kind of whack. Um, now let us check out what happens if we plug in or where is it or HDMI device <laughs> or HDMI video glasses. I'm not really expecting those to work through this uh, unreliable hub. Oh, maybe what what am I doing wrong with this hub? Why doesn't it stick into it? Yeah. Okay. It did. Oh, it did something. Let me turn the. Let me turn the thing on. And suddenly we have big icons and stuff. Okay. Uh, whoop. And it's gone again. <laughs> and it's gone. That's kind of weird. I just plugged in and plugged out uh, HDMI and now we have big icons. Not quite sure what happened there. Also I've got this wired weird shape down there but hey everything is big now. So yeah now you know you can fix tiny, tiny icons by plugging a HDMI into the hub. Okay that's interesting. <laughs> Let me see if how it looks now. Yeah, everything is bigger. That's that's a lot. That's a lot more nice. Yeah. Now now the thing is now the thing gets usable. Nice. Okay. So let me check if my this is on. This is on. But now nothing happens. Okay, weird. But why? He doesn't recognize the hub anymore. 
not even the charging part of the hub. That's kind of weird. But at least we have big icons now. I, I like it when problems basically solve themselves. So, let me try to get this to work again. Plugging in the hub again. Yeah, it doesn't seem to accept the hub anymore. That's weird. But why? Hey, why don't you want the hub anymore? Huh. Maybe if I unplug the, the glasses again? I mean, by this point now, this video is gonna be so long that nobody's gonna even watch it. Nope. I think I will do a quick reboot. And then we see again. So. But until that I will try to charge my video glasses because I assume the battery of them is quite empty. Yeah, they plugged in well. That doesn't seem to be the problem. So it's turned off, now we turn it on again and let's see if the, if the uh, icons uh, are still big. Oh, that's the, that's the first. Normally I don't get a screen like this when it starts up, that doesn't look good. Fail to request DMA. Ooh. Okay. But it still looks like it's starting. And yeah, we still have big icons. That's kind of nice. Huh. Okay, now we even get a KDE. Plasma startup thing at the. Uh huh, uh huh. Let me see how key pairs looks now. Because I think. Yeah, I expected that. Because everything, the icons and everything is big now. Most of the not optimized apps won't fit into the screen anymore. That's not very nice, but let me see how this looks if we rotate. Ah, with rotation it looks a little bit better, but we still don't see the whole thing. So we know now KeyPass isn't optimized for use on this device, sadly. So we close that. But now let me try if I still get a sound when I plug in the charging cable. Yes, that works. Nice to know. Now, next try. The hub. Still charging. Okay, weird. Mouse isn't showing up. Not sure why. But I guess because the connector is quite wiggly. Now we have our mouse back. Okay. This seems to work. This is nice. But if I... And it's gone. <laughs> this connector really sucks. You know what. Um, now let us try to plug in the 
uh, the glasses again. I mean, why not? Maybe it works. Maybe not. We will see. So, let me turn the glasses on. Now they are on. I mean, the phone has to have uh, to recognize the HDMI at some point because else it wouldn't have changed resolution. So let me try that. Ah, uh, do we see nothing? There, there, there is something! OMG! There is something. I can't believe it. We had a picture in the glasses for like one second. Ah, oh, this hub is, is so annoying. Come on. Come on, give me a picture. Yeah, it, it fucking works. I can't believe it. I have a picture from the Pine Phone in my glasses right now. And it works. Now the problem is I have to hold the phone and the connector with two hands so it doesn't wiggle. Because as soon as I let this hand go, no, it works. Okay, okay. Let me try to show it. No, that, that's, that will be impossible to show. Um, I try to zoom in. And it's gone anyway. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. How do I keep this in here? Come on, give me a picture. There it is. There it is. Uh, no, that's not easy to show. Come on, don't disconnect again. Let me show it to the people. Yeah, you can see it. Nah. There you go. That's the picture in the glasses. So the Viewfind Plus works with the Pinephone Manjaro KDE Community Edition. Out of the box. Well, except for the freaking hub connector cable, but it works. I'm I'm fucking surprised. I'm I'm very very happy right now to to see this. So <laughs> I I think that's basically enough for today <laughs> because we we tried a lot of things. Uh, we got this thing out of the box. Uh, we we made an update or basically I did an update while while the camera was off. But it's not very hard to do an update on this. Uh, there are many videos out there to show you how to to update this thing. And uh, yeah, we, we installed something, we somehow <laughs> managed to fix the uh, screen resolution. Uh, no, it's not turning on again. Oh no, uh, I was happy to, to free, to, come on, go on again. Or oh, did I press it too long? Is it, is it off? Th that's when you start to get happy about something on camera, it immediately starts to don't work. So I guess I just cycle this bitch. Yeah. Now we reboot. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you get uh, too happy too quick. Rebooting, rebooting, reboot, boot, 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 booting, yeah. So there it is again. It actually boots quite fast, I think. And we're in like Flynn. To quote a famous Australian. Yeah. So, uh, to say again, we did a lot of things today. Uh, we took it out of the box. Uh, I did an update while the camera was off. <laughs> the update uh, fixed uh, the, the top bar. Now the top bar is working. The multitasking is working. Uh, I installed a new app. It's working. 
and uh, we miraculously fixed the screen resolution problem with the tiny icons by plugging the, uh, <laughs> the hub into it with an HDMI cable into it. That just seemed to have fixed it. Also, the big thing in the end, we got a Vufine Plus, um, I think it's called a in-picture display or picture-in-picture -picture display, something like this. I just call it the uh, cheap Google Glass style thingy uh, to work out of the box with the fine pine phone. It, sh uh, it shows a picture on there. Uh, all in all, uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy with the whole thing because I seriously didn't expect it that it would be so fluid uh, swiping and everything works just fine. Uh, I didn't expect it to work this quick without me having to debug and to <laughs> to try different things over days. I was kind of expecting it that I would that it would take me days to get this thing running and to to get the display running and everything. But it just worked, and that's a big step. I mean, people nowadays still expect that Linux is difficult, but we are now living in an age where you can pull a Linux phone out of the box, connect it with your display glasses, and it just works. It just works. I'm actually, I'm very, very happy right now. So that's basically it for today. And <laughs> that's basically it for today. And uh, see you next time.